Hello guys and welcome to the channel. You know what's really funny? I filmed my first video for this channel and I didn't even have a name for the channel. But today, I don't know if it's gonna be my second or third or fourth or fifth or whatever video because I'm recording a ton of videos today because I just want to get them all out because why not? Basically, as you guys may have known from the first or the second video, I don't know if I mentioned it in the second video either, but I know I mentioned it in the first video, I have an extra 10 gallon tank. So this tank right here is a 10 gallon tank. I have the lid in my closet over there, but I have all of my fish stuff in here instead of, I don't know. I just, there was a, there was never any fish in here. We had the decorations and we just never got the fish. So now it is time for me to actually set up this 10 gallon tank. I don't have any decorations, so I have to get them. And the fish I will be getting in another video sorry if that's what you came here for but i am going to clean out this tank it's already cleaned like i cleaned it when i emptied it but i need to take all of this stuff out and put it into that box right there this is my other 10 gallon tank but you guys will see a video on that very very soon let's go ahead and head over to walmart where i'm going to get some gravel some decorations all that kind of stuff for that tank and you guys will see the fish that i'm getting in a very Actually, you guys won't see the video of me getting the fish for a couple weeks because the tank does have to cycle. Plus, I'm going on vacation, so I'm not going to add new fish and then go on vacation because that wouldn't make any sense. Today, I figured I'd set it up, like I said, get a bunch of beneficial bacteria built up in the tank, in the aquarium, in the, in the filter. Let's go ahead, head over to Walmart, get some gravel, get some decorations, and guess down below what fish you think I'm getting. I'm debating between a community tank. Um, it would be my first community tank, but I watched a video on some stocking ideas like for 10 gallons and Aquarium co-op had a really good idea that I was gonna do actually before I even saw the video But then I saw it and I was like, you know what? It's perfect. So let's go to Walmart before I keep talking and waste all this time Walmart. So for the 10 gallon aquarium, we need something. This is kind of cool actually. So we obviously need like a big decoration. This is pretty big. I don't know that I like it that much. I kind of like the ship better. I don't know how much it is, but the ship is pretty cool. Although I would prefer something more natural, like without, like basically this without the plants. This I really like, so I think I do need to get this. I have to see how much it is, but this is definitely one thing I would like to get. I did just find this really big submarine, so this is actually a really good option because it is longer and a 10 gallon is like about the size of this box, so this is definitely a possibility as well. So I think we're going to have to go with one of these four things, so either the barrels, that, the submarine, or that like broken ship. They do have this big log, but I'm not really a fan of it because it kind of looks like really cheap. They also have this castle, but it's really small, so I don't think that would work. Okay, so I need a new filter because the one that I got broke before, or the one that I had broke, so I'm just gonna get a five to 10 gallon, the Whisper one. It is quiet, I did have it before, like I said, and it is quiet, so I do recommend this filter, but I had broke the filter. It didn't break on its own. So we need this. Actually, I kinda like this one. This one has four plants in it and it's only $6. So there's two small and two medium. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this. It's only, oh, oops. So I think I'm gonna go ahead, get these plants, this filter. These small 98 cent plants. I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these just to add like a little bit more filler to it. So this is for another video. But we have that plant. Then we have this four pack of plants right here. Now we just need a decoration piece. And if you guys saw my last video, you guys know that this is definitely my favorite one. I've been waiting to put this in an aquarium. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this with all those plants. Now we need gravel and I don't know, I was gonna get black gravel, but it's mixed in with colors and I'd have to sit there and pick through all the colors. And for the fish that I'm getting, I'm not gonna tell you guys yet, but the fish I'm getting do have some colors to them. So I think we're gonna go with this white gravel, get two bags of it right here. There should be enough. So we need to get all this stuff. We got the filter, plants, decoration piece, and the gravel. And let's go ahead, head back to the house, set all of this stuff up, and see what the final product looks like. This is something I am going to try. I don't know how well it's going to work, and I'm going to test the water before I put the fish in it. But I saw this, and it is the complete water care kit. So this is for when you start out a tank. But this is all the stuff that we picked up for the 10-gallon. And I'm really excited because 
I haven't set up a new tank in like six months at least. So this is pretty exciting. Let's go ahead, rinse everything out, and then we'll go ahead and start actually putting this stuff in the tank. All right, so first we're gonna rinse out the gravel and use the Paul Cofero method. Just stab some holes in it. All right, so I just rinsed out the gravel as you guys saw. So let's go ahead and pour the gravel in now. All right, so as you guys can see, the gravel is now in. I do have a little bit more to add, but I forgot I was filming another video. So I am gonna have to take some of this gravel out, but I will put it back in. There's a little bit left in the bag. So a little bit more gravel will be put in here, but I really, really like this white gravel. This looks so nice. Next step is going to be to rinse off the plants and the decoration, and then we will start actually placing the stuff into this tank. All right, so I just went and rinsed all of these plants and this so uh now i'm gonna go ahead and start moving the stuff around i probably will i will definitely need more plants but this is a good start and it'll help me figure out like what kind of design i want and where to place everything so let's go ahead and uh start doing this all right guys i'm not going to show you too too much but now it is time to open up the filter, put it on the back, and fill this thing up with water, and then you guys can see the final product. All right, so here's our filter. All right, let's just uh, set this up on the aquarium. All right, so I actually just found that I have an under gravel heater, so this is perfect. I forgot that I had this, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this underneath the gravel, and uh, we're almost done. Alright, so that is the brand new 10 gallon tank. I may move it around a little bit more because I have two weeks until I'm getting fish because like I said, I have to go on vacation or I am going on vacation that I have to, but that's not a really weird. <laughs> I am going on vacation for a week, so I'm gonna let this tank cycle for two whole weeks, which means that I'm probably gonna move stuff around. So when I actually put fish in here, it may look different than what it looks like now because I don't know, I'm gonna lay in bed, I'm gonna look at it and be like, that needs to be moved and then I'm gonna move it. So yeah, when you see it, it is gonna look a little bit different, I'm sure. But like I said, no fish for two weeks. But in the meantime, check out my other videos that I am posting in the future after this video and before. So anything I posted before this video. I did put a decent amount of work into this tank and I'm pretty proud of it. And the fish that I'm getting for this tank, you guys will have to wait and see, but there is a heater required. So yeah, that doesn't narrow down anything because Pretty much every fish needs a heater. But that is going to be it for this video. Let me know down below what you guys think of this brand new tank and what do you think I'm gonna get and put inside of it. It is gonna be a variety. I shouldn't say a variety. because All right, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys comment, rate, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button in the comment like I just said. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.